This is lesson 50, VHDL example 30. And in this example, we'll design a 4 bit adder subtractor using logic equations. You remember this was the adder subtractor that we designed in the previous lesson, where if we set E equal to 0, then this controlled inverter just lets B through, and we have a 4 bit adder. Whereas if we let E equal 1, then this becomes a 4-bit subtractor. So let's see how we can write a VHDL program for this. A is an input 3 down to 0. B is an input 3 down to 0. E is in. And the carry flag and the overflow flag are out. And S is out 3 down to 0. So this is similar to what we had for our 4-bit uh, adder. We'll set bx, which is a signal here, 3 down to 0, is going to be b exclusive ORD with e. Now note that we have to concatenate four e's together because b is a 3 down to 0, so we need to XOR it with a 3 down to 0, and this makes a 3 down to 0 e in which each element is e. So then C0 just gets E. S is just A exclusive ORD with BX exclusive ORD with C, 3 down to 0. C is the carry, 4 down to 0. And then the CI plus 1 would be the C4 down to 1 gets A, 3 down to 0, anded with BX, or C3 down to 0 anded with A exclusive ORD with B just the logic equation we had for the carry out. And the carry flag is C4 and the overflow flag is C3 exclusive order with C4 just as with the 4-bit adder that we had. And here's a simulation to see if it works. So if E is 0 we're adding. So E is 0 here and 0 here so we're adding A and B. B we set equal to B or 11. So, for example, C is 12 plus 11 would be 23, which is 16 plus 7, so S is a 7 and the carry bit is set to 1, as would be expected. And if we're doing a subtraction, B is minus 5, so if we were to add, say, uh, 2 to minus 5, then we would get, um, what's it, what's going to subtract rather, so we're going to take 2 minus a minus 5, well that's the same as 2 plus 5, so the answer is 7, uh, which is of course the correct answer. Um, notice if we take a 4 and we're going to subtract minus 5, so that would be 4 minus a minus 5, so the correct answer would be plus 9. Well the 9 shows up here, but notice that the overflow flag is set indicating that as a sign number it's the, uh, it's the wrong uh, answer because as a sign number you remember for a 4-bit number the value was have to range between minus, uh, minus 8 and plus 7 and so plus 9 is outside that range. So the overflow bit uh, gets set in the same way as it would for a full adder. So you can check the rest of this simulation and verify that in fact this adder subtractor works. You might also want to uh, take this component and add the X7 seg B component, make a top level design as we did with the 4-bit uh, adder, and you could download it to your FPGA board and maybe set the, uh, say, button 0 to the E, and so then you would add or subtract the four bits from the switches, depending upon whether you're pushing uh, button 0. So if you push button 0, you could get a subtraction, and if you don't push button 0, you'd get an addition.